Once you have logged into Storyboard That and you've clicked on the template that the t your teacher has pushed out for you, or you're starting from scratch, you have the ability to change the Storyboard cell layouts. Storyboard That offers different layout options for your cells and storyboards. The cells are the boxes where you can put in images, text, and characters. You have the option to add titles and description boxes to the cells. If you click down below on the bottom navigation bar where it says Storyboard Layout, you have the options to change the cell layout. Like I said before, you have the option to have a title and the cell, a cell in just a description, or both your cell and the title and a description. There are also six storyboard layouts, the traditional storyboard, the T-chart, a grid, the Friar model, the spider map, a timeline, and kind of like a looks more here like this is a 16 by 9 cinema, cinematic view which gives you a longer rectangle and kind of looks like it might be a frame from a movie. Changing the layout for the storyboard and cells can drastically change the effect of your project. So you want to choose the format that works best for you. So you might decide you want to have a title and a cell, but then you might want to go back to storyboard layout and say, you know what, actually I want this to be in the form of a timeline. And then from there, once you have more information, you can go in and customize the dates. You can add cells so that you have more years or more specific events and say update timeline. So there now my timeline you can see has titles in each cell and it's also in the structure of a timeline. But if I want to go back to a storyboard, traditional storyboard, I can always go back there and I can see that I have my titles and I have my cells. Down below also in the navigation bar at the bottom you have a box that says add cells. So right now I have a 1 by 4 array but I could change that to any size array I want. So for example, if I want a 2 by 3 array, I could select the boxes that I want, and you'll notice that this one cell in red will be deleted because it doesn't make a complete array. So here I'll say Update Storyboard. And now I have a 2 by 3 array with titles. I can also change the cell size down at the bottom navigation bar. So if I want it to be really large while I'm working on just one, I can have it be really large. Or I can shrink it if I want to see the entire storyboard in one, in one frame. So let's make it a little bit bigger. And then in a, I can just X out of that. I also can move cells. So once I start doing editing and having different scenes, if there's something in this particular cell that I want to move over here, all I do is click the one that I want to move and click it to the new place where I want to move it to. And those will swap or um, swap positions. And then you can undo it if it was an accident, or down in the bottom right, you can click Done. You also can copy cells. So if there's something that you really love, there's a background or a character with the background that you want to reuse, if you just select the cell, it will now copy, and then click where you want to copy it to, it will copy that entire cell to the new cell also. And it will also remain in the initial cell. And then you can click done in the bottom right hand corner. And down below there's also an undo and a redo just like in Google Docs. And you also can clear everything at once by clicking on clear all. You can add grid lines in case you're doing something where you need to line things up or if you're doing a mathematical storyline and you need to have a grid. You could use the grid lines and then you can just turn it off. The first time that you're working on your storyboard, it will prompt you to save after about 15 minutes. But you do want to make sure that you are saving. And it will auto-save after that first time. So if I click on save, oh, I need to add something to my storyboard. So I'll just quickly drag something into my storyboard. And then I'll click save. And here it will give me the option to title it. I can give it a description if I want. And then I want to make sure that if this is a particular assignment, for example, if this is for Ms. Kerrigan's class, I'd want to click on Ms. Kerrigan's class with this specific assignment so that it goes into that folder so that my teacher can see my work. And then I would say Save Storyboard. And that allows me then to see a full view of what my storyboard looks like at that point. But then I can click on Edit and I can keep working on it.